Do you think Palantir will ever master the scalability of other software as a service company, such as Snowflake? And if so, how do they get there? I think that they're on their way, right? I think the fact that they're starting to increase their sales force is showing you that they are ready to start running with their expansion and their scalability uh, in terms of being able to get multiple partners in multiple industries. What I mean by that is, is they've had the opportunity to work with the healthcare space. They've seen the problems. They've been able to help remediate that. And you're starting to see multiple healthcare partners come out on board. And so it's like, almost as if like they're trying to walk into an industry, figure out exactly what the problems they're trying to solve, build the customized software applications within there, understand that particular industry. And once they understand that particular industry, then they can upsell it to other partners or other people or customers within that particular industry. And so I think that that has truly been what has caused Palantir to take so long over the past 18 years to get to where they were. Originally, it was just about contracting and working for the government. Then they realized that there's the opportunity to scale this for custom uh, software within the commercial space. And they've started to do that. They moved into two industries, then to five, then to 13. Now you got to the place today where they're in healthcare, you know, aeronautics and space and all these different places that now they can start to go across into other customers within those same industries with the customized applications that they've built. I don't think you have a Snowflake or I don't think you have a Databricks creating customized software, um, sitting with the company for six months, 12 months to be able to say, what are problems are you guys having that we can help solve? I think that they're just trying to sell them a suite of products that in six to 12 months, if they're not having fun or they're say costing too much, they could go to a Databricks uh, or eventually they can come to a Palantir and get to the place where they have these customized applications being built. And if they don't get the product that they want, Palantir can be like, well, what product do you want? What application do you want? And then not only that, let's just say that's in the healthcare space. Not only will they be able to take that customized application for that particular client, then they can go upsell it to all their other healthcare clients. And so I think that that is the true benefit of what Palantir is trying to build versus say a Snowflake or Databricks or some of these other folks.